In the seventh surah of the Quran, the 59th verse, listen to what the Creator says. This is His word. Listen to what He says about the creation, the origin of the creation of the heavens and the earth. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, indeed, your Lord is Allah who created the heavens and the earth in six periods and then established himself above the throne. The throne which is above the waters and above what we call space. He covers the night with the day. causing another night to chase it rapidly. And then he created the sun and the moon and the stars and he subjected them by his command unquestionably. His is the creation and he is the only creator and his is the command and no one shares that command. Blessed is Allah, Lord of the worlds, and in the sixth chapter, the first through the third verse, he says, All praises are for Allah, who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness and the light. Then those who disbelieve, they equate others with him while they have no power themselves. Then he decreed a term of life for them to exist and then he gave them a specified time in which they will die and be destroyed. And that is all known to him. Then still, you are in doubt. Then he says in another place in the Quran, and please, Bear with me, because it's important. He says to us in the Quran, And certainly did we create man from an extract of clay. And then we place him as a sperm drop in a firm lodging place called the womb. Then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot of blood. And then we made the clot into a lump called a fetus. And then we made from it the lump, bones. And then we covered the bones with flesh. And then we developed him into another creation that you call the complete human being. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Then indeed, after all of that, so certainly you shall die. Then indeed, on that day of resurrection, a day about which there is no doubt, you'll come forth and be judged. And he says again to us in the Quran, He brings the living out of the dead, and brings the dead out of the living, and brings to life the earth after its lifelessness, and thus will you be brought out from it. And of his signs is that he created you from dust, the dust of the earth, then suddenly you were human beings multiplying and dispersed through the earth. And of his signs is that he created you and created for you, for yourselves, mates, in order that you may find tranquility in them. 
husbands and wives. And he placed between you, that is, husbands and wives, of affection and mercy. Indeed, in that are signs for people who give thought. And of his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth and the diversity of your languages and your colors. Indeed, in that are signs for those who have knowledge. Dear brothers and sisters and seekers after truth, let us ponder for a moment on these words from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and think for a moment about our beginning. Here in these verses, and mind you, these verses of the Quran are among 6,626 verses in its entirety that was revealed to a man who is illiterate. A man in the desert. A man who never sailed on the sea. A man who never entered a laboratory, who never looked into a stethoscope. A man who never looked into a microscope. A man who never looked into the heavens, who had no idea. A man who could not himself have made these claims. Claims so clear, so profound, that science itself has not contradicted it. What is the first thing? The first statement of the Creator is that He created the heavens and the earth by His word, be. Now if there was a big bang, that was the big bang. And He mentioned that He created the heavens and the earth in six periods. That means that by His command, from the darkness, from the mass of what we call outer space, where there was no life, where there was no order, where there were no human beings. That creator brought the gases, brought the masses, brought them together, caused the explosion. And through that explosion, our planetary system came into being with the sun as its gravitational center. That sun giving the heat, providing the gravity, and carrying the entire family with it in its own orbit within the Milky Way galaxy itself. And the Milky Way galaxy itself only being a cluster of stars among another nebula. And that nebula itself being among billions of clusters of nebula. Yet, on our Earth is the only planet where this kind of life has been discovered. We don't know that there are any other beings that have the intelligence, that can make choices, that can compute, that can manipulate, that can calculate. We don't know of any other beings in the whole heavens and earth except on the earth. And isn't it fantastic that the earth is the third planet from the sun? Had it been the second planet, it would be too hot for life. Had it been the fourth planet, it would be too cold. So Tabarakallah, blessed be the Creator, who knows in proportion, who knows and who has settled and determined the earth and given it its ecosystems in which our life has evolved out of it.